Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otto C and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, where last time we have planned out quite the extensive rail grid and today we try to get some trains going um, or at least focus on the mining and the loading because for the trains to be going they would also need a destination and i think that's maybe more than we can stomach in in one episode so the resources that we will focus on today are iron ore then copper and the crude oil and uh, over the next few episodes we will put these three pieces together in order to get ourselves a bit cliff explosives so we can really uh, put down our rail network uh, without hindrance of any cliffs like we have here for example so let's start with bit of um, mining uh, we need a few trees in the way here as always um, but let's put this down here and then um, have it up here and then like so and we will actually make this a blueprint we will say snap uh, there we probably also want to have the thing in there um, And here, let's call it mine, mining. Um, and we need an offset, apparently. Or can we do it relative? Does this work? No. Um, let's make it eight wide. What does that do? Uh, we have an offset of probably minus one and then four, something like that. One off in each direction. So that's then probably minus two and three yep and here we go right so that's the first part but yeah maybe let's let's cover uh, this this whole field with uh, miners before we figure out how to actually load the ore onto trains
one ore field equipped and not yet connected to the uh, electricity because I think once we uh, hook up all these miners it will tank the uh, the power that that we we have so let's first figure out how we can get all this ore out and as we decided to have uh, one one trains meaning trains that only have one wagon uh, what we can do is not have one loading station but actually two to speed things up because they will probably be more uh, destinations that require iron ore than we have iron fields to uh, supply. And we want to get on the track here on this line and come off it here on this side. So uh, let's see uh, what we can do here. Can we do this and then have something similar like there? And we will need station here and a station there so that's let's call this iron field And of course, this one will be called the same. And then now for now, we will have fast inserters here. And iron chests and more inserters and then something like this There's the input. Now, we also want to have a setup where we can have more trains going to one field than we have stations. Actually, what we should do here is limit the, the train limit to one so only one train ever goes there and then let's try to make this a tight corner it's probably the tightest we can get Then what we need here in addition
here. Right. So... What we then need here is... Let's switch this one, this signal out here. To something like this. It's not what I want. Actually, what I want to have here is something like this. not the ideal setup but we have now a waiting bay for three trains we have two stations for loading and what we are now still missing is hooking these seven lanes up to uh, two output lanes so let's see if we have something like a 7 to 2 um, I think this will do yeah so let's build this and then all we have to figure out is or what we also have to do is do the same thing for the for the uh, coal as well as for the uh, What's it for the oil? And coal will be pretty similar. Uh, maybe we will not need um, all the lanes there. 
So n maybe we don't need two loading stations there because coal is probably not as in demand as uh, iron or copper for that matter. Uh, but uh, I think the uh, oil that will be a bit different. So there we have it. Uh, we also need here power there. And then connect these two. And if we connect that, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Uh, we only have half the amount of uh, the power that we actually need. So we will have to head up there and add an, two more power stations or maybe uh, four because we need to add two more loading setups as well. So let's do that. Uh, figure out the uh, coal because that one is pretty similar. And then the oil, which should not be that difficult. The coal field is also hooked up and uh, or at least half the coal field that's on this side. Here we have just one loading stations, two waiting bays, and I think that will be enough because once we uh, actually have the electric trains, which should not be that far off, uh, we will not need that much coal. And I have fueled up all the, the trains that are here uh, and here. And we will have another train sitting here. Uh, this one will have a tanker attached. Um, we will add coal to that one. Um, let's make this. Something like this, 6060. All right. Then we need a pump here for loading. Well, actually, we could do with a large one there, right? And then let's have four storage tanks there. And then we will have to see how to best uh, align the, uh, the pumps here on the field. goes up 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 and what I'm too short uh, it's not how it's supposed to be but now we need to connect everything up and into these tanks and uh, then we can call it a day right Right, so all we need here now is one large power pole and we have crude oil flowing here into the tanks, into the train. Although all our trains have no schedule yet. 
that will come in the next episode so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, i will see you next time goodbye